Good morning, friends. It's Chrissy with Pink Garnet Vintage and More. And I wanted to go over and show you a few of the things that Lynn and I got Friday from our Goodwill haul. But first, I wanted to show you what sold in less than 24 hours. So it is this beautiful, vintage, very well used plastic rubber made dish. And I don't know if you can zoom in on this and see it with the lighting or anything, but it's about, I'd say 12 inches. We listed it for $29.97 and we got an offer of, I want to say 16 and then we refused that and then got an offer for 22 and I went ahead and accepted it because it was like less than 24 hours that it was listed. And it was actually a piece I've had for a long time. It came out of the area that we're trying to clean and organize to make for eBay inventory only instead of the mall and displays and everything. So I needed to get rid of it. I don't remember how much I had in it, but knowing me, it probably came in a lot of stuff at an auction a long time ago. So this was a super, super great flip to make 22 bucks or to sell for 22 bucks in less than 24 hours. Um, so there was a lot of new ones online, but not old ones. But so anyway, if you find these old Rubbermaids, even in well used condition and it's plastic, pick it up because they do very well, obviously. So um, there's so much here. I won't be able to cover it all in this video, but I told you in the haul video that night that my first shopping cart was mostly boots and shoes and literally it was. So I'm just going to move up here. We got lots and lots of cute boots. These are Zig is show. I don't know if that's a good brand or not yet. I haven't looked it up, but they were so cute that I'm like, if not, I'm sure Lynn or I will fit into them. I got lots of cleats. These are Under Armour cleats. I got a lot of Nike cleats. Are they in here? Oh, yeah. Here's some Nike cleats. Um, here's another pair of Under Armour little kids cleats. But these are Timberland men's boots. They look in great, great condition. So I'm super excited about that. And if you don't know Timberland... That's their little tree logo um, that they have on it. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, there's this better on the bottom. But my husband is a huge Timberland man, so I know a little bit about that brand. So also they have these old um, bowling shoes that somebody obviously never returned. I think it's two different ones. I don't know, but people like bowling shoes. Um, there's some Liz Claiborne's. These I didn't know anything about, but Polaris boots, I'm like, they can't be bad. They were in really good condition. Oh, and these were London Fog women's boots. I thought those were really cool and interesting. And these women's Hyper Vino. I did not know about these Nike cleats for women, but I took a chance. They need to be cleaned up, but um, they're like a vinyl finish. So there's just boots, boots, and boots. Um, these look like vintage. It says steel shank made in Korea. They look like vintage rain boot clogs. So I have to look them up, but there's a whole bunch of shoes. And then I got all these bags back here mostly are boots and shoes. So when I told you I had boots and shoes up the wazoo, I was not exaggerating. I really did. So you can see them. Oh, and then I got a ton of bags. Let's see. This is <clears throat> Franklin Covey, which I don't know a lot about that one, but it looked like a really nice bag. It has a computer compartment. I don't know if I got that or Lynn got that. I don't remember. This really cute leather handbag also has a computer department. I don't know this logo, but this is always in style. And it was in really, really good condition at the bins. So got that. And there's some more bags in here. This was a really nice 31 tote. 
so it looks like it was hardly hardly used so and it has a padded compartment as well we got these mid-century this plate it is star glow royal ironstone uh, made by the royal china sebring co but it's a really cute fun mid-century plate there was only one so we got that and then we got this platter at the goodwill store it was two dollars but it is chromex made in the usa and when i looked this up really quick it had good comps that sold on it i don't remember what they are now but they were good so and we have other silver platters we've sold before these turtles Lynn thought I was crazy, but I honestly, I got them <clears throat> to send Kaylee at Rally Roots because she loves turtles. So I thought, turtle, turtle, um, we'll send them to her. So that's what those they are about. They match you. So, oh, and they do match me today. <laughs> We're just a bunch of turtles. <laughs> um, I got a Hello Kitty backpack, which she seems to never go out of style. So my sister's in her 30s and she had her. And now her kids are in Hello Kitty. So, I mean, it's just like, you can't go wrong with Hello Kitty. And also, Musoto, he's from the 80s, and he had the papers attached to him still. So, um, I sold him in the past, and he usually does really well. Let's see more boots and shoes. Oh, flamingo lights, and they work. Even if they don't work, it's always a good idea to pick these up because you can always just sell the light covers or put a new light string with them and sell them but usually these plastic style lights usually do pretty good for us so I'm excited about those um, a lot of boots and shoes lots of clothes I got a lot of clothes oh I got these um, quilting corners and pieces this was I think at the bins too there was a bunch of them so we usually have good luck with that this was a train toy from FAO Swartz. I don't remember if it has the year. 69. Did it say 69 on it? So, thank you, voice from above. That's Lynn behind the camera. Um, so yeah, I just, it is really cool. Oh, I got these puzzles, which actually I was gonna give them to my niece, unless they have really good comps. I don't know, did you look them up? She is into puzzles and kitty cats. And I'm like, she would just love this. We also found this Songbird Tweets. It's string lights that look like bird seed lights. So don't know about that, but we are going to try them and see. A little bit of all kinds of stuff. This was really cool. Lynn found a professional grade ninja for $15 and it works. And then it had this bag of accessories and pieces with it, like four pieces and these things. So we haven't looked up if we're going to like sell it complete or piece it out. But either way, I think for $15 at Oopsie Goodwill store, I think um, that was definitely be a good turn. This I don't know if it'll sell, but it I remember these from it being a kid. Um, Kool-Aid pictures. So I don't know if they still make them or not, but I just thought it'd be a fun nostalgic thing. If not, we'll put it in the mall. And let's see, we got heater. We got this surge protector, monster power. It was $3 at the store. I think it'll do really, really well. And what else? I did get a lot of electronics this time. A Brookstone scanner for three bucks. So that should do good. We got a little Palms heater that does work. And I think this was at the bin, so it was like, what, 50 cents or a dollar? Uh, we got a portable boom box for three bucks. And we got, this is a good find too, a BMW motorcycle battery charger for nine. So that was a good find that Lynn found at the Goodwill store before we went to the bins so that was a good deal and somewhere i got a bmw uh, fanny pack at the bins so i don't know if we'll partner them up or sound separate so 
We'll check into that. And then we got this Tobisha. Um, I think this is a, oh, it says floppy drive only. So, I don't know. I don't know if that was at the bins, I don't remember. And then these are double H boots. I don't know if those are good ones or not, but they're cute. So, we'll see. So, I think that's most of the stuff. We did find a lot of men's big jackets, and we found this two-piece suit. It's brand new with the tags on it. It was $16. They charged us for the pants and the jacket. So, but it originally, the suit was $125 for the complete suit. So I think that should be good. And it was in really, really good condition. And it's like a navy blue. So, but we got lots and lots of clothing. We got these um, wrought iron tables, three set, three piece nesting table stacks, $15 for the set. So that's pretty much a quick rundown of our haul from Friday. It was so much fun, very exciting. Um, and we'll just kind of let you know as we go how things sell and what they sell for. So till next time, stay awesome.